To define the plane, we required minimum three points. So in this video, we are going to de develop the equation for a plane passing through three points. Let's consider here one plane and this plane contains three points A, B and C. And we will form here two vectors. One is vector AB bar, other is vector AC bar. And let's consider here one vector which is perpendicular to these two vectors or a plane. Let's call this vector as N bar. Basically, you can obtain n bar by taking a cross product of ab bar cross ac bar. In this case, order does not matter. So, either your vector will be either going upward or will be downward for this present figure. Let us consider any point in this plane x, y, z and if you form here another vector that is ap bar vector. So, in this case, this ap bar is lying in the same plane that we are interested and n bar is perpendicular to the plane. It means that AP bar and n bar are perpendicular to each other. The dot product of two perpendicular vectors are always equal to zero. So, we will take the advantage of this to form the equation of plane. So, we have n bar and AP bar are perpendicular to each other. So, therefore, we can write n bar dot AP bar equal to zero. So, we will use this method steps for this one. Step number one form two vectors from common points. You can take any common point either A, either B, either C, but you must form two vectors from either A or either B or either C. Now this time I have formed the vector between A, B and A, C. But it is not a rule. The rule is simply that you can form C, A and C, B also or you can form B, A or B, C also. So this is step number one. Step number two, you have to find out the normal vector this perpendicular vector to the plane, find the perpendicular vector n bar to the plane using the cross product of two vectors that we have formed in the step number one. And then step number three, since the dot product of two perpendicular vectors is always zero, so take dot product of ap bar and n bar and equate this product equal to zero. That is ap bar dot n bar must equal to 0. So, these are the three simple steps to form the equation of a plane. We have given you our three points. So, first of all, we will find out two vectors starting with P. So, the first vector is PQ and second vector is PR. So, PQ you can obtain from coordinate of Q minus coordinate of So, 3 minus 1 is 2i. 1 minus minus 2 plus 3j. 4 minus 0 is 4k. Second vector is p r bar is r bar minus p bar. 0 minus 1 minus i minus 1 plus 2 plus j plus 2 minus 0 plus 2k. Now to find out n bar, we will take the cross product of these two vectors. That is step number 2. So we have n bar is p q bar into into PR bar. This can be obtained using determinant. So, first column is i, coefficient of PQ is 2, coefficient of PR is minus 1. Second column is j, coefficient of PQ is 3 and PR is 1. Third column is of k, coefficient of PQ is 4, PR is 2. And you have to solve this determinant. So, you will get i, 3 minus 2, 6, 1 minus 4, minus 4 minus of j 2 into 2 4 minus minus plus 4 plus k 2 into 1 minus minus is plus 3 2i minus 8j plus 5k now we'll consider one common point in the plane let a x y z is the current point in the plane so, you have to form the third vector with the same common point that is P A bar equals to this time coordinate of A minus coordinate of P. So, P A bar is equal to x minus 1 i plus y plus 2 j plus z k. Now, next job is to take the dot product of n bar and P A bar. So, P A bar dot n bar is equal to 0. So, simply put this value 
remember that i dot i is 1 so we'll get 2 times x minus 1 j is 1 minus 8 into y plus 2 plus 5 z equal to 0 so you can expand this you will get 2x minus 8y plus 5z is equal to this piece minus 2 will be plus 16 so answer will be equal to 18 so 2x minus 8y plus 5z equal to 18 is the equation of plane let's check that the point p will satisfy this equation or not so we have 2 into 1 that is 2 minus 8 into minus 2 plus 16 and z is 0 is equal to 18 yes it's satisfied so equation is correct so this is a cross check procedure you can check any point either q or r or p so remember this is the equation of plane and notice that the coefficient of equation of plane and the coefficient of n bar they are always identical x coefficient is i y coefficient is j and z coefficient is k so anytime if you know the equation of plane then just from comparing the coefficient of x y z you can find out the equation of a vector which is perpendicular to the given plane that is n bar make a note of this point coefficient of x y z are same as the coefficient of n bar a vector perpendicular to the plane a very useful result because this result is used to find out the shortest distance between the point and the given plane find the shortest distance between the point 1 2 3 and the plane x plus y plus z equal to 0 so we have given here one plane this is just a figure represented to plane and in so this plane has the equation of x plus y plus z equal to 0 so since we know the quotient of x y z we can very well write the equation of a vector which is perpendicular to this plane which is n bar is same as i plus j plus k just by comparison of the coefficient of x y z we can write this equation so this is perpendicular to everywhere in the given plane now since we are interested in the given point 1 2 3 first of all we'll check out whether this will lie in this plane or not x equal to 1 y equal to 2 and z equal to 3 is not equal to 0 it means that the point will not lie on the plane then the point will lie somewhere at this point let's say this point is 1 2 3 is a point of interest of a shortest distance and we want to know the perpendicular distance from this point that is this distance we want so what we'll do is that we'll find out one point on the plane to find out the point on the plane since we know the equation of plane so you can put any convenient value of either x and y y and z or x and z so let's put our quick calculation x equal to 0 y is equal to 0 so what we get is z equal to 0 you can select any point you can get your third coordinate most simple calculation is putting x equal to 0 y equal to 0 so very quickly you can get your one point on the plane once you know that point we'll join this point with the point of interest and we can form this vector let's call this one is point a and this one is point b and let temporary shift the perpendicular vector passing through point A. Remember, it is always perpendicular everywhere on any point on the plane. To find a perpendicular distance, we will view from this side. So, if you view from this side, you will get a projection of AB on N cap, and that projection distance is same as distance D. So, this one is same as distance D. So, this distance D is basically is a projection of a b on n cap projection means dot product it's a a b bar on n bar that is the distance d you have to take unit vector is the property so it's a a b bar into cos theta cos theta means you have to take the dot product so we can find out distance d using method of projection this vector is a b bar so you have to take a b bar dot unit vector of n bar now to first form the vector a b bar and that you can directly find out because the coordinate of a is origin so a b bar is same as 1 2 3 minus 0 0 0 
is i plus 2j plus 3k dot product of n cap i plus j plus k upon under root of 1 square plus 1 square plus 1 square is root 3 i dot i is 1 so we will get i dot i 1 2j plus j is 2 3k dot k is 3 upon root 3 so 1 plus 2 plus 3 divided by root 3 is 6 by root 3 can be written as 2 into 3 divided by root 3 2 root 3 that is the shortest distance